Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos and welcome to another episode. Uh, a while back, uh, sus a subscriber asked me to give him a challenge. He, uh, he was uh, interested in um, his SSTO skills and uh, wanted a, a challenge. Well, you know, I'm no SSTO professional by any means. I don't consider myself as one. I just like building them. But uh, I said okay, and um, I gave him a challenge of building an SSTO using only four parts, just four. Complete, go into orbit, and come back safely back to Kerbin. All by its lonely little self, using only four parts. Now, I don't know if he's um, worked on this or if he's gotten that far yet or what the case is, but you know who you are if you're watching this right now and you haven't figured it out yet. Don't. Spoiler alert. I am about to show you how to do it. All right, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Blah. My tongue doesn't want to work. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get to it. Okay, we've made it into orbit. Now, this thing only has so much elect electricity left. Uh, in order to keep the four-part minimum, you can't put any uh, solar panels or anything like that on there. So we're going to have to land it a little sooner. We can't really do a full orbit around the planet and, you know, do all this other good stuff because of electrical problems. But if you deploy the parachute while you're in space, parachute while you're in space, bleh, 
then it will deploy by itself once you go into the atmosphere and you know reach a certain altitude and whatnot so you don't have to have electricity in order for that to happen because it will run out on you before you're able to do that uh, as you can see right here I'm getting my uh, uh, little uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing I guess I'm aiming for that land mass over there alright let's see what happens Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, a SSTO consisting of four parts. Of course, if you wanted it to last longer in orbit, you just slap on a solar panel or something. Not too much weight, though, or else it wouldn't be able to make it into orbit. It is very borderline on what it can do with the thrust to weight ratio. This little engine is the best in the game when it comes to thrust versus fuel consumption. So if you had like a hundred of them on a bigger ship, you probably have <laughs> some really good, um, some really good mileage on that thing. But anyway, I tried it with a smaller fuel tank, and of course it didn't make it into orbit. So the larger one right here is just right. And I tried it with a smaller probe body, but unfortunately it runs out of electricity before you can put it into orbit. And finally, this little parachute is light enough. And strong enough to, to 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 carry the whole thing down safely to the surface of Kerbin, and the larger parachutes, unfortunately, like I said before, they weigh too much. So yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for your support. Maybe I should make T-shirts. Nah. Uh. I, anyway, I am Veos. Signing off.